This tutorial is going to go through how to set up a um, Adobe Spark page. Um, so far in my series of videos we've done um, a post, a video, and now we're going to do a page which is a really unique kind of um, cool web page. So you need to sign into your Adobe account using your Google account and go to, uh, I'm, I'm in my projects right now because I've already started one that I'm going to demonstrate. You could click here on the yellow button to um, create one or you can always click over here on the three lines on the left and it can open up a menu to create a post, um, a page, or a video. Right now we're going to be going through how to create a page. But since I've already made mine, you can go back and edit. and I'm going to quickly go through how to do this. So when it first starts, it's going to ask you what um, your uh, page is about, your title. And I'm doing mine on my cycle of inquiry right now. So I'm going to start off with actually um, putting the topic of my cycle of inquiry. I'm going to be working on blending tech into reading and writing workshop. And I put my name at the top. And these are all just um, areas that if you can click on them, you can edit it. And it kind of walks you through it. Um, if I want in the background, you see I have a large image in the background, I can change that image, I can replace it or make a focal point, um, kind of move around where the image is. But if I re click replace, then it will open up, um, find photos, and I had typed in the word writing uh, in order to find this one. And it was right there, I just clicked on it and it added it to there. Now I don't want to replace this, but that's just how you can get started with photos. Um, the other thing, uh, well, it's my title page, so I'll show you other things you can do with your photos. Um, before I move on though, I want to show you themes. And themes are kind of fun, you can go through and um, try them out. They give you some different features. Um, just I tried all of them, I went with Luca for this theme. So go ahead and select your theme there. Now it's a scrolling page, so watch as we go through. Uh, the next piece I added, it gives you these little pluses. And when you click on those, it lets you add things, either a photo, text, a button, which is a link to another page, um, a video, uh, a photo grid, or a, a slideshow. And this right here is a photo grid that I added. So I already added this. It's just I'm in edit mode, so it thinks I want to put something else here. So maybe I want to put a little text there. I can add some more. I was able to uh, easily move around this grid. I can edit the grid. Uh, I can also delete the grid pretty easily. I just start clicking on things and it happens. Now there was a caption spot for a caption here um, that I was able to add in. Now when I went to the next section, um, for this section I added text. And I'm going to show you how that works, even though I've already added my text. When I click Add Text, um, it creates a space for it. And you can do Header 1 or Header 2. And you can see the difference in the styles here. This is Header um, 1 and this is Header 2. And it gave me um, a little bit of a, you know, a larger and smaller, three sizes of fonts. This third one, um, this third text piece, is just um, without clicking Header 1 or Header 2, I just started typing. So I put in my um, cycle of inquiry question, and then the next size was actually what my question is, and then I did a little description about um, what I wanted to do for my cycle of inquiry. Um, I added another image here, and this is kind of fun, I was just playing around with this, where it um, created a real scrolling effect and I went through and I did fill screen for this one and uh, with fill screen it gave me the spot to put a caption if I wanted to so I was kind of just playing around with that um, in the next part um, I added what it will look like in my classroom and I added a little bit of text about that at this point and I added this other neat little um, feature with this image behind it. I wanted to show what it's going to look like in my classroom. And if you click on here, you can see I didn't add a caption. I could have. If I click on here, I chose window for this one. It was kind of nice. Now I did have it up above. Um, and uh, if I want to move it up into this section, what it will look like in my classroom, I can put it here. And it, I moved it really easily, but it kind of breaks up my text. So I'm going to move it back down so that um, what it will look like in my classroom and my short description is together. Um, just an option there for you. Um, then my next section, I wanted to keep adding. And every time you want to add a section, just click your plus. 
um, what I need support with and of course I wanted to show some images for that and then I just put these all as big titles I want time training devices and books um, and again I can add anything more maybe a, a video at the end or just leave it like this and um, when I'm done I can preview this page and see what it looks like all together it's kind of a nice uh, look to it very easy um, streamlined page pretty quick to um, put together um, and it looks like I created some pretty um, fancy page um, which didn't take too much uh, and when I'm finished I can get out of preview mode by clicking the X and then the share share is real important to um, be able to um, send this to somebody else so I can click um, education category uh, I can put my I you know I don't want everyone to see this one so I'm going to um, leave it just how it is I'm sure there's other options um, that I can Oh, give photo credits yes and I'm going to create a link um, so there's my link and I can now copy this link and share it um, I can embed this website I can email it um, and that is what it takes to make a um, spark page